Okay, fam. It's just us this shot, so as you see, the sun is shining. It's 77 degrees according to my car, and I'm just loving it here. And you see, your sister got her fro, but she about to go get it cut off. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. So, just wanted to give you a brief update. So yesterday, I talked to my former person, and um, cause he actually called me the other day. He texted me and then he called me saying he needed to talk. So I called him yesterday morning, and uh, was debating whether I should call him on the phone or do a face to face like we normally did. I did end up calling him uh, over Messenger face to face, and um, he was just saying he was like he said, "Well, damn, you just not gonna call me or anything." And I told him that the reason why I have not called is because I figured it was gonna be challenging for the both of us to see each other, you know, seeing as though we, you know, still have, care about each other, not necessarily have feelings, and still love each other. And he just expressed to me that these past couple of months has been really challenging for him and he hasn't slept or he's having difficulty sleeping because he always slept you know but um he was just telling me how much he loved me and that's something that I never doubted I just don't think he loved me enough to make that move and then he was telling me he was talking to his oldest child and they asked would she ever consider moving back? And he told her no. No. Because he knows that I would never consider moving back to Chicago. There's, you know, I moved because of the weather. I can't take the cold anymore. I can't do the snow. And, you know, and he admitted to me that um, he wasn't going to move here. I don't know if he ever had any intentions on moving here. He loves it down here, mind you. But he said that he didn't think he would be moving here. I'm glad I know that shit now. <laughs> but, um, you know, he just told me how much he loved me, how much he missed me, you know, and I miss him too. But, you know, I told him that I still did not want him to wait for me. And he knows that. And then he said, well, I think it's probably someone else, but you haven't said anything. And he asked me, he was like, is it someone else? I told him, I said, yeah, I am seeing someone. He was like, you know, he figured that. And um, I just told him that, you know, I have, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit. So one of the things that I did share with him which I had told him that I was writing him a letter because I was sending him stuff and sending him stuff for Smokey, who's his little dog, um, was that I realized over these past couple of months is that I allowed myself to put everyone else ahead of me, including him. And now that I'm putting myself first, I told him, I don't know if it's necessarily feeling better, but it is something that I should have been doing a long time ago. Because he asked me, he was like, was it something that I did? I said, no, it was nothing that you did. I was like, the only thing that I will ever say that you did to me was step out on our relationship. Everything else was what I allowed to happen. Like when we first got together, he said, I want to marry you. I'm like, okay, cool. So, you know, he said, he told me that. And then we started looking for places to live. And then he moved from Riverdale to Cal Park. And I didn't move in with him, even though he had more than enough room for myself and for my youngest whenever she decided to visit, you know? That was that. And then the next thing was I 
helped him move from Cal Park to Chicago Ridge. And then after that, you decide, or probably before then, you were all, you know, had already, you know, did what you did. And, you know, again, I allowed that to happen because when he told me we were going to move in the first time, I had packed my apartment. My apartment stayed packed for at least a year and a half before I figured out this shit ain't going to happen. But again, I told him that wasn't his fault. That was my fault. I allowed it to happen. So I told him I can't blame you for what the decisions that I made. You know, so I was like, take that off of your plate. You, you know, and that's what I told him. I allowed these things to happen. And that was going to be no more because he had asked me last year to wait. But with what he told me, what, I, what would I have been waiting for? Why were we hanging on? And that was something that my pastor had asked me. He was like, why are you guys holding on? He was like, if it's just because of um, the fact that you guys have been together and been committed and love each other. He was like, he asked me, Marie, is that enough? And at some point I figured out it wasn't enough. For, you know, just to go by, you know, with what it was and there was no progress. There was no movement, no nothing. You know, with my current person, he moved. He told me he was coming down here and he came down here. He packed up his stuff, put his affairs in order and came down here to be with me. He was sure of what he wanted when it came to me and I never had anybody to be that way never had anyone who wanted to take care of me in all of my years of dating in my years of being married in my years of being in these six and a half years of being in this relationship I never had anyone who wanted to take care of me and from day one since my new person has been down here that's all he's been doing is taking care of me making sure that i'm eating making sure that i'm getting to work and all that sort of stuff you know that's what he's doing and it's been weird because i've been even i told him i explained to him because i have been together but literally still single for almost 20 years you know it feels kind of weird to release those things, you know, that I have normally been doing all this time. But I'm letting, I'm allowing him to do those things because he wants to do that for me. And in turn, of course, that makes me want to do for him. And that's how this life is supposed to work. So all in all, you know, my my former person was like, you know, he wishes me the best. And I told him, I was like, I said, I don't know if, if this is right or wrong, you know, if I'm doing the right thing. But I told him, you know, I have to find out. And I had expressed to him, you know, because I had a conversation with my beautiful niece saying, you know, asking her about, you know, something that she experienced very similar. And... You know, she asked me, would I ever go back to him if this didn't work? I told her, no, I would never ask him that. I don't think that that's a fair thing to do. That's like you asking somebody to wait around to see if this relationship works. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to come back to you. But I say, no, 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 that's not ever going to happen. Because even though he may love me that much or whatever... I just would never do that to him as a person and as a friend. Just couldn't, you know. I'm expecting forever with my current person. I'm expecting that, you know. That's just it. Yeah. And uh, my mama, I haven't talked. I didn't talk to her today. I need to call her. She did. We, no, we didn't talk yesterday either. I got caught up in homework, which I'm going to have to go home and do because I left my stuff at home. And I should have been 
finishing this brochure a long time ago. But anyway, or today, so I could have had like the weekend kind of free. But anyway, so um, Mama is okay. She's still having issues and things like that with her health. And uh, Jesus, if this woman was just here, it would make things a whole lot easier. And y'all pray for us because I'm praying and hoping that she comes down here because I can't do this trying to take care of you 1,700 plus miles away. It's just not working. But anyway, just wanted to let y'all know what's going on. I'm getting ready for this weekend. My person is spinning this weekend. I don't know what else we're doing. Oh, we're doing some Super Bowl stuff on Sunday. What I don't even know. I have no clue. We might be home. I have. Who knows? Because he starts work on Monday. But, um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got. And thank you for listening. I appreciate that I have someone to talk to or no one to talk to. I don't care. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. That's cool. Leave a comment. Hit the subscription bu uh, bar and hit the bell so that you know when I um, post another video. Appreciate y'all. Peace.